friends. Today I want to talk to you about hard feelings. You know, those feelings that God really doesn't want us to act upon. Things like hate or anger or jealousy. But we all have these feelings sometimes, don't we? What's important is how we deal with them. Let me tell you a little story about how we should not deal with them. Once, when I was younger, I had a favorite blue sweater. Loved this sweater. And my sister went in my room without permission and took it. Then she wore it to school, ate pizza, and got tomato sauce on my sweater. And it stained, so we couldn't get it out. I was so angry with her. So you wanna know what I did? I went into her room and I took her favorite jean jacket without permission and I wore it to school and I got marker on it. Maybe by accident, maybe not. Do you think that was the right way to handle it? Do you think God wanted me to stay angry, not to forgive her, and then do something bad back to her? No, absolutely not. That's not what God wants. So now let me give you an example of what God does want us to do. There's a story in the Bible about Joseph, and he had 11 brothers. Joseph's father loved him so much and gave him lots of special attention and even gave him a very special robe. Well, Joseph's brothers got so angry and jealous, they decided to do something mean to Joseph. They stole his robe, then threw him into a well. They were going to leave him there, but then they decided, oh no, they would do something even worse. They would sell him into slavery. Pretty bad stuff. But there's a lot more to the story, and I challenge you this week to ask your parents to read the story to you, because it's a good story. But I want to focus on what happened to Joseph afterwards. He went through a lot of bad things, but then he became a very important person in Egypt, and he worked for the Pharaoh. And it turns out Joseph's brothers actually needed his help. So when they came to Joseph, what do you think Joseph did? Do you think he stole their belongings and threw them in a well and said, ha ha, you deserve that? Nope, that's not what he did. He forgave them. Joseph said to them, I am your brother, the one you sold. Do not worry and do not be angry at yourself for selling me because God has put me here. So Joseph was able to forgive his brothers for all the horrible things, and he treated them with kindness. But how can we do that? Let's do a little experiment to see how we can rely on God when we're dealing with these bad feelings. All right, let's pretend that these packaging peanuts represent our hard feelings, like hate and anger and jealousy. We all feel it. This represents my feelings, what's inside of me. Sometimes I get angry. Sometimes I get angry at my kids. Sometimes I get angry at me. Sometimes I get angry when I'm driving down the road. Sometimes I get jealous. Sometimes I think not so nice thoughts about people. And sometimes I am just filled up with these hard feelings. So what do we do about them? We stop what we're thinking and feeling and we take a minute to ask God for help. Just pray, God, please help me with these hard feelings. The hardest part is stopping what you're doing and remembering to ask for that help. But when you do, let's pretend this represents the Holy Spirit. He will fill you up like he always does. And those bad feelings will go away. And then when the next day comes along and you still have hard feelings, that's okay. Just remember to stop what you're doing, ask God for help, and let him fill you with his peace and his wisdom. All gone.
on. So your challenge this week is first to talk to your parents and see if they can tell you the story about Joseph because it's a great story and he's a great example of how we should forgive people no matter what. And whenever you have any hard feelings at all, take a second and pray to God and ask for help. Thanks, friends.